Welcome back, everybody. When you see them coming, you swat, you run, you hide. We are talking about yellow jackets that have a very potent stinger. As some of our dogs find out the hard way. Mm -hmm. uh, they look like bees, but they're far from that. And Kim DeGiulio reporting this morning, there's a reason why you're seeing a lot of them this time of year. Ah, September. It brings a variety of things. The return of football. Students go back to school. Oh yeah, and the invasion of yellow jackets. Lots and lots of yellow jackets. Just look at this nest a local four producer just found in his basement. The nests just get larger and larger and larger until the end of the season when they're huge. This is the end of the season. They're everywhere. And with fall coming, the bugs are starting to go haywire because their nest is starting to shut down. And if you find a nest in your home, it's best to call pest control because these bugs are not to be messed with. Shep from Rose Pest Solutions in Madison Heights tells me while many people mistake yellow jackets for bees, yellow jackets are a lot more aggressive. Bees are generally fuzzy, fuzzy and furry and happy like me. <laughs> yellow jackets are a type of wasp. As a rule, bees generally don't want to sting you and they only sting to defend their nests. Yellow jackets are a little more likely to do that. Yellow jackets are attracted to things like sugary drinks, fruits, and candy. If you're gonna have a can of soda pop, you need to have that covered. A yellow jacket's gonna be in there. A thousand times a day across this country, somebody drinks their soda and gets stung in the cheek by the yellow jacket. Shep says moving a trash can away from your outdoor picnic can help keep them away. Also, a gentle hand gesture can send a non-threatening message to them. Take your hand and do this. Really? Back, back and forth. And uh, you don't want to hit them because they hate that. But just back and forth and the motion that they see puts them off and they'll fly away, at least for a little while. However, if you do get stung, unless you're allergic, don't panic. Shep says a yellow jacket sting will hurt initially and likely swell up a bit and itch for a day or two. However, getting stung by a lot at a time can be a lot more painful, which is why it's best to get professional help if you end up finding one of these in your home. I'm Kim DeGiulio, Local 4. Yeah, this this is bad. my my son recently, my three year old recently got stung by mm. a yellow jacket, and uh, you know what? It, it, I mean, they're so aggressive, you know, that they just come. But when he got stung, this is a remedy that we used that worked. We took some dry tobacco and put mm. it on his ear, and that's dry what tobacco, tingled. dry tobacco, just like packing tobacco, and it took the stinger out. So I don't know. It's just a little home remedy. I don't remedy know if I have that right around anymore. Yeah. No, I, 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 I did go and get some. I, oh, yeah. I was like, go get some tobacco. Really? But, uh, yeah, it That's actually, fascinating. It I've never heard of that. It actually took that stinger right out yeah. and, and made it better. But these oh, things are oh. this yeah, time Yeah, I got year, stung man. last year. And I'm not allergic, which is obviously the more scary part. Right. But my arm just blew up. Mm, I mean, yeah. it took a while to heal. Oh, yeah. Well, you hear of baking soda, but yeah, that's a, a yeah, new that's little trick. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, okay. Ooh. But yeah, they're all over the place right mm -hmm. now. I mean, I go water you had, my didn't flowers. Did you have some in your house too? I did. They oh. were coming through the shower vent. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. I know it's crazy. Mm -hmm. They were able to spray from the outside, and it took care of it. But yeah, they're all over the place right now. 